everyone, welcome back to Daily Devotions. Pastor Steve, going into places of kindness. And as you look at my front door, as you look at uh, my home, um, it is one of those spots of kindness. And now let me uh, speak a little bit towards not trying to amplify myself or brag about our family in any kind of way. Uh, but when, when it's measured into that kindness of Galatians chapter 5, the, spirit of, uh, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. I want to just continue to define that word for you, kindness, because it's used four times as kindness and four times as goodness um, within that same word in Galatians chapter 5. Uh, but really redirecting this, you know, towards um, a reality, towards what uh, kindness is in the proverb of Proverbs chapter 11. Proverbs chapter 11 speaks towards a morally excellent way, a morally excellent way. So, and that's really the word of kindness. That kindness is this capacity, once again, as we talk about capacity of patience, but this capacity of moral excellence that comes from the spirit to actually be kind isn't from us. It's not because someone was that to us that we will be that to them, although it does uh, work in that way through our human flesh uh, towards if someone's kind to me, I am kind to them. Um, it's a little payback, as we'd say. But the way that we want to be as Christians is being able to say kindness just exudes from the spirit of God that is given to us. And that kindness is also, as we get to see as it unravels itself, is that morally excellence or sometimes translate, translated as integrity. The spirit, the fruit of the spirit is kindness or integrity. And that's why I'm sitting at my house today. Because as I'm sitting at my house, you can think about the front of your home or the safe place that you are. And in that safe place, there's many temptations. Uh, there's times where whether you're home alone, or whether you're on the internet, or whether you're viewing a TV show, or a movie, or speaking to your spouse, or speaking to your children, whatever it was in that home, how do you do that in a way of kindness? How do you do that in a way of integrity? Because what I'm about to read in Proverbs chapter 11 speaks on the surface towards a reward for being kind. But the reward isn't necessarily what we're after. The faithfulness and the kindness from the Spirit is what we're after. So, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 17. It says this. Verse 16, I'm going to start because this has that word there again. It says, a kind-hearted woman gains honor. It seems like there's a little bit of reward there. But ruthless men gain only wealth. Someone who is determined after the things of this world, they only go after wealth, as it says, a ruthless men. But a kind-hearted woman gains honor. One that's going to stand up to her beliefs and her, her convictions and being able to walk in those kind of ways. It says this in the next verse, though. It says, but those who are, those who are kind benefit themselves. Those who are kind benefit themselves, but the cruel bring ruin on themselves. But the cruel bring, ru bring ruin on themselves. Those who are kind benefit themselves themselves. And what it's speaking to there is what I'm speaking to right here at my home of being able to say how we are in our homes, how we are in our neighborhood. It's, it's actually easy to go out into church. It's easy to go out into the school community. It's easy to go out into our neighborhoods and put on the mask that everything is fine, that we're actually treating one another well, that I actually love my neighbor and, and speak well of those. But then I come back into the home or I come back into a safe place and I start speaking a different language. I start being a different person. The mask comes off and we can see truly who we are. And this is what that proverb is speaking to. That it's saying those who are kind benefit themselves. Because those who have the, the spirit of kindness in them have that integrity in them. That when people aren't watching, when we aren't out in public, when we aren't perceived by our neighbors, when we're not being looked at in any kind of way, but we're in our own safe place of just us and authenticity, we're that same person, that person of integrity, that person of kindness, that we're actually speaking to our children in a way that builds them up rather than commands them down, that we're those kind people that we speak to our spouses how they deserve to be spoken to, kindness with moral excellence of knowing my role as a, as a, 
a husband to love my wife and speak those words of love, as a, as a wife to respect her husband and to speak those words of respect. That's integrity. That is kindness. That as a grandmother, I pray for my grandchildren. As a grandfather, I lead my family in a way of leadership in Christ. As a single person in the home, that as I find myself in that maybe could be alone, that I'm praying for others, that I'm picking up that phone and calling for others, that I'm actually walking faithfully rather than deceptively in my home. That goes not only for single, but for those people um, in any kind of walk of life. And so when we're picturing our homes, when we're picturing that place where we can just be ourselves, what are we of ourselves? And Proverbs would say here, those who are kind benefit themselves. When you can walk in integrity, when you can walk in kindness of being able to say moral excellence, because that's the spirit working in us, that we can fight against the temptation of whatever's on our computer, on our TV, or the words that I use for my spouse or my children or, the, or, or my neighbors around me. No, I can actually walk by the spirit of kindness, of integrity, and that other translation says of goodness. Yeah, we benefit ourselves when we actually pray to the Spirit to help us, Spirit of God, to be kind to the people right around us that know us the best so that they can be built up and be kind to others as well. So think of your home. Think of that space. I pray that this space isn't any different than the spaces. That's one of my number one prayer, and that's what I love about being able to be who I am, where I am, uh, leading uh, this church and school at St. Paul, because um, you allow me to be me, and I can't treasure that enough. Um, yes, the faults and the failures, uh, but yes, the joys and the freedom as well. Hopefully the kindness and integrity that I can show and just have you continue to build your trust with one another. But I'm, I'm proud to say that I'm most often <laughs> um, that same person when I come through those doors with my children and my spouse, that same person that I can just be on campus or be in my neighborhood. And I pray that you can say that as well. If not, that's where we pray for the Spirit of God to say, come on, Spirit of God, help me in my kindness, in my moral excellence, in my integrity, that when no one else is watching, I'm still faithful and I'm still repentful, but I'm still kind, yes, to myself, but to others. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 17, those who are kind benefit themselves because we're faithful. But the cruel bring ruin on themselves. The sinful always lead to death. Have a blessed day envisioning kindness in your home. But as you raise kindness in your home, it's just going to exude and just overflow out into your neighborhoods so that they will know that you are a person filled with the spirit of kindness, of moral excellence, of integrity. Thanks be to God. Have a great day.